House Minority Whip Steve Scalise joins us now. So they're going to uh, lay out, or, or we're going to, you're going to lay out the, your vision for infrastructure. You guys want to do an infrastructure bill. Yeah, Brian, uh, good morning. Good to be with you. Uh, there's been a lot of interest going back to President Trump and getting a bipartisan infrastructure deal. Uh, Speaker Pelosi walked out of multiple meetings at the White House when Trump was president uh, where he was trying to get a bipartisan agreement. And then on this, they're, they're not talking to Republican leaders at all. And we've reached out, uh, but they, they won't even talk to us because they just want to go it alone like they did on that non-COVID $1.9 trillion spending bill that they just passed. Here they go with trillions more in, in this kind of Soviet-style infrastructure dream list of the left. So uh, Senator Chris Coons yesterday, uh, yesterday says this will likely end up um, just a purely partisan bill. First, do everything we can reasonably to negotiate uh, in a bipartisan bill with the other side. And then basically he predicted they're going to have to do it themselves. Can they? If they don't have Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, I don't care what the parliamentarian says, uh, you're not going to have the numbers. Yeah, you know, Speaker Pelosi's socialist agenda she's been pushing these last few months since they've controlled all levers of power is starting to catch up with their with their members that are less socialist. You know, they don't really have any moderates left, but but even the liberal members are starting to have angst because they're voting against the will of their own districts and people are starting to get fed up. They're out of control spending. They're going to propose raising taxes all, all under the guise of infrastructure. Look, over 90 percent of what they're proposing has nothing to do with roads or bridges. You know, they're talking about child care and uh, things uh, you know, like they're going to do Green New Deal policies that have nothing to do with infrastructure. And by the way, the National Association of Manufacturers said what they're proposing right now, Biden and the Democrats, will cost over a million more jobs. And these are hard work and blue collar jobs that we will be losing if they get their way of a, of a Democrat only bill. I don't think that's good for America. It surely is an infrastructure. Well, it's up to you guys to start communicating to the rest of the country. It's not that you're trying to deny bridges and tunnels, but we can't afford to do elder care, health care, and have a, a green militia uh, trying to jam that energy down our throats. Let's fast forward to the border crisis because we, it is a crisis, even though the president won't acknowledge it and the vice president won't show up to do her job. Uh, we see two re uh, Democrats, Vincente Gonzalez, as, as well as uh, another who's come out and said they have to solve this problem by the summer because the numbers are going to get worse. What can be done today about this crisis? Yeah, it's alarming what's happening at the border, all created by President Biden's executive actions. So he could today start fixing this problem. First, get back to the Remain in Mexico policy. It worked incredibly well. We had an agreement with Mexico uh, to help us control our southern border, their northern border. Uh, and they were holding people coming over that were seeking asylum. Most of the asylum claims are rejected because it doesn't meet our definition. Uh, if you want to come to America legally, there's a process to do it. We let a million people in a year legally, most generous nation in the world. But what you're seeing today is thousands of people a day coming over illegally because President Biden said America's borders open. Put back Amer the Remain in Mexico policy. Get back to building the wall. Brian, we're paying the contractors to build the wall, but President Biden ordered them to stop building. They abandoned the work sites, yet the taxpayers of America are getting fleeced because we're still paying their bill, even though they're not building that wall. Uh, build it again. It was working. Uh, get the agreement with the Northern Triangle countries. You know, we had a lot of the countries in South and Central America working with us. Again, this was something President Trump negotiated, agreements with these other countries to help us control their border and our border. Right now, the drug cartels are controlling America's southern border because President right. Biden is taking our Border Patrol agents off the border, over 40 percent of them, diverted away from doing their job of stopping the drug cartels because they're over at detention facilities like the Donna detention facility, where they have for these cells that Biden has set up that are set up for 33 kids, they have over 400 kids in each of these holding cells that were designed right. for 33. They'd shut your restaurant down if you were that far over the limit. Yet this is happening at America's border by President Biden's executive action. I know. He and, can reverse it. And we could have done this segment two weeks ago. It's the same thing. He doesn't do anything about it. And here's the, uh, the editorial. You're frustrated. And this was included in it. It's on FoxNews.com. Democrats open border crisis. Here are the heartbreaking images uh, we saw firsthand. And you put them in. That's happening. 
But and it, it's amazing how the compliant press is perfectly okay being locked out of these facilities. Can you imagine if, if it was President Trump and you had these kids in pens uh, in facilities that are 800% over capacity? And in case people are wondering, it's just Steve Scalise saying this, the Guatemalan president uh, said the messages are confusing. The compassionate message were understood by the people in our country, especially the coyotes, to tell families, quote, we'll take the children, the children could go, and once the children are there, they'll call their parents. That's what they're doing. It's actually working for the uh, coyotes who are taking that money and giving it to the cartels. Some are mortgaging their houses. Yeah. Congressman, this it, is It's this disgusting, is, Brian. It is. Look, it's child abuse what's right. going on in the Donna detention facility. That's why they don't want the press in there. I saw kids crying in there. They don't want to be there. They don't want to be a, a pawn in this game that President Got Biden's it. playing to have open borders. In El Salvador, Guatemala, they don't want to lose their next generation, all the young kids that are fleeing out coming into America illegally. It's the wrong message. Yep. They're abusing these kids. Uh, it's a national disgrace, right. and President Biden and Kamala Harris won't go down to see it for themselves. They owe it to the American people to go down there, see it, and then fix it. They can fix it today. All right, Congressman, thanks so much. Uh, just a two-seat advantage thanks. currently uh, for the Democrats. Meanwhile,